Hello to everyone and welcome to another adventure story video. This is video it's little weird because we will talk about some dirty parts. This is the sewage plant and sewage plant it's necessary on the ships because they can uh, they can what they can do. They can take the poops and make them same as water, okay? They dissolve them, destroy them, okay? Most of the sewage systems, they have three stages. First stage, when the poops coming there and uh, they became to settle, okay? And there is a ration tank. In a ration tank, there is supply of air from some tubes, which we can see later here. This is the pipes, okay, and from these pipes here, the air is supplied for to the first stage, okay. Here microbes live and they eat and dissolve everything inside, okay. Let's go back to the first images here. This is the settling tank. Here also separation take place. That's why this is the shape of this tank also made. And next, we can talk about that these sewage tanks, they have special coating, never weld around these tanks. Okay. And they also need sometimes, if, they're, if they're your sewage uh, system plant uh, not working properly, you, you need to open and check what is going inside, okay, the quantity of dirty. Also, there is special kits from where you can test your chlorines and also you can test the sediments and how your sewage plant working. This is very important because in some states or in the United States, Coast Guard maybe will check your uh, sewage system and the chlorination system and how it's going on but most on these uh, areas special areas the sewage is prohibited to discharge overboard and when you reach some certain uh, areas you need to isolate and close your overboard and put the sewage pump to manual okay and only everything will collect in the sewage collecting tank how to see if your sewage treatment plant working properly, okay? As I said before, with test kits, it's very important to be familiar with test kits. They're everywhere. If you, you some test kits is missing, you need to order them, okay, by the manual book. And also, uh, very important to understand how your system is working, uh, what quantities you will add, to keep your microbes in good condition and shape. And also one uh, very nice tip that I have read somewhere in one book, they say that uh, if your sewage treatment plant, if you touch the side of the wall, okay, the metal wall, and it's hot, that means the microbes working properly. Okay. This all urine, as you can see here, they're also very corrosive. Uh, the corrosion takes place very fast. It not depends from the ear of the ship. The ship can be only five years and have these signs of corrosion. The corrosion can start very quickly if there are special uh, environment, okay? And also, it depends also from the quality of the metals and the paints, everything play roles, okay? When you make an inspection inside, you check that all the pipe system is okay, it's holding tight because as we know in the ship there is uh, very big vibrations also for corrosion we check. And here we can see that warning do not weld on the tank surfaces, this is very important. This is here the green one, this is chlorination system dosing. The dosing in some sewage is liquid, in other also it's tablets, it depends. 
and the supply of uh, chlorine or tablets is written also in the manual book. Here we check in this hose we check the air bubbles to coming and air to be supplied because these organisms they are aerobic and they breathe air. This is here the discharge pump. First of all, what you can do for before cleaning with fresh water, you can input inside in all stages one by one sea water. You can put inside and through with discharge pump, okay? First stage, second stage and third stage to be clean all the big sludge, okay? And then you can proceed with fresh water cleaning as well as here we can see the floaters inside for the low levels and high levels when the high level is reached the pump the discharge pump will start and when the floater is going down the switch will be switched off and the pump will be stopped that is the work of these floaters the most important to be clean and properly maintained the microbes inside and there is a low maintenance for these kind of systems okay sometimes uh, you need to check there is side glass from where you can see if your system is working or your microbes okay thank you for watching don't forget to comment and put your likes <laughs> and subscribe because more more interesting facts and tips will come thank you for watching bye bye